All right, let's do this all a little bit more coherently so I don't have to make uh, videos explaining the shit that we're doing. Um, right. Our plan is to do a mini-adventure before we go to Magic Mountain, which is the uh, mountain over there that has a spiral, spiral around it. And if you want, there's something interesting at the top of Magic Mountain. You can yes. go and see that, too. Um, yeah. But the mini dungeon, as I call it, which is basically just a good introductory dungeon if you're following along, is a place called the Blister Burrow, which is up ahead. I hate pearl birds, by the way. Mm -hmm. We need the mask. Um, there is another version of them that will absolutely floor you in like two shots and attacks super fast and runs like about the speed of a horse. Oh my. Yeah, I figured out how to lock on too. Tap. Ruh! Eat foot. Ugh. 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 There we go. I'll take the meat. We'll cook that up later. Um. I love that move set, by the way. It makes my life so much easier. Pick some berries. You can get beetles from there that sell for like four a pop, but the tea they make is also useful. If you're a terrible like me. You hoard the tea up to a certain part, a certain point, and then start selling them. Because I need to feed my nasty collector habit. What is I'm going to take these bandages, tripwires, and iron scrap. Uh, I can make those those tripwires into things if you want. Uh, I think I can too. I have the recipe. Um, I'll take the bandages for sure if you want the rest. No preference. I like setting up booby traps. These are my favorite. I believe allies don't set them off. But if you would Good. like, I can test them beforehand. Eh, nah. Nothing like a field test. Well, that's what I mean. We're gonna, we can set it up and then use it. But I, we're going to save that for Magic Mountain. Which, in the game, they refer to it as Conflux Mountain. But I like saying Magic Mountain instead. Alright? Alright. By the way, I think you will freaking love the terrain for Magic Mountain. Like, if it was snowy there, oh my goodness, it would be gorgeous. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know what your uh, grass and graphic settings are on, but right here, there's like a huge scene to the world. Like I am looking down to empty cell. No, I can I can see that too. <laughs> That's why I stopped there and was like, what is this? I can see like little bumps and seams all over the place. Um, oh, my fat ass thought this was like a jungle gym. I'm like, oh, what's this? I don't know what that is. I've seen them inside of, like, um... I swear I've seen them in caves, too. It looks like something that, like, would grow ivy around it. Like, it's going to be a arch. Because it's also on a road. There's another one up here. It kind of looks like it bizarrely grew that way, or someone molded the wood that way. I think it's just built. I just think our... our my, at least my graphics for sure are too low. Oh, I'm sorry. Where is, uh... I'm wondering. The where... polygons are too low for it. Like, I, I can't the... tell if it's constructed or not. I just assume not. The Blister Burrow, we're walking towards it. Oh, okay, right on. It's really close, which makes it a very good dungeon. There are some dungeons or places that you enter that will fucking absolutely destroy you. There's one where you walk into it, and something throws a poison grenade at you the moment the cell loads. <laughs> and it blows. I, I, I don't like it. We call that a get fogged. <laughs> to save fuel. All right. Weather often, lead, often gets dangerously cold or hot. Oh, by the way, I don't know why they think that this is a temperature, but there's a temperature where, yeah, at night where it starts to cool off. That temperature is called fresh. I don't, I don't know about your loading screen, but it's like a lizard woman with like titties and a blood altar. I was oh, like, yeah. oh yeah. Let me see Adventurous what's in that. corpse. He has an iron mace of two life potions, two fire eggs. What are you doing? Why are you pacing around me? I'm not. You're pacing around yourself. Oh, there you go. Um, he's got a cooking recipe, which I took, because uh, I think you already have it. Yeah. But he's got pungent paste. That's good stuff. Fire reg, two life potions, two, and an iron mace. You mind if I take the mace and one of each? Yeah, you can do that. I try not to use those items, so I'll just be carrying them for you, <laughs> theoretically. Oh, I there might use the fire egg, actually, because that sounds awesome. Um, what is this, like, purple goo? I like opening up, the, I like seeing what's in the box, even if I take nothing, and technically I could use uh, the fact that I'm recording as an excuse. <laughs> oh, there's a dude. 
So, I really something about these guys. Give him the mighty foot. What has he got on him? He's got oil. Uh, That's for lanterns. And a crappy spear that you might not want. So, uh, I got off topic because I forgot. Oh, right. Trogs in this game are very easy to deal with. The first enemies that it sends at you are those hyenas, and I don't know what it is about them, but my game freezes a lot when they attack me. So it I makes them thirsty. a lot more difficult. What? I am thirsty. I am thirsty! Take a sip. There we go. Let's see here. Oh, no, I did bring them with me. Okay, cool. So, okay, now, you see what your lantern does? Turn it off. Well, mine it's does. Bigger. It's much wider. Yeah. These, all right. Near as I figure it, because I wanted to look this up. Yeah, I know, I look things up sometimes, because uh, this game doesn't tell you very much. But I was really curious about this, because I didn't want to waste gems, or I didn't have them on me, and I couldn't find them. Apparently, this leads to a super dungeon that has endgame level creatures in it, or something like that. It'll right completely on. destroy you early on. So, if right you, on. I think if you want a quick uh, knockout, you can put, uh, I think it's a tiny aquamarine, and I think it's a sapphire into these. I'm going to go check. Yeah, tiny aquamarine, and I think the next door requires a sapphire, maybe it only requires the tiny aquamarine. But anyway, yeah, that leads to something that will destroy you. Um, that's all I know is that it has a place called an unknown arena, and don't go in there. Oh, by the way, this area right here. Yeah, I'm looking at this corpse, but I heard I heard something. Yeah. Boom! Boom! Foot! From the shadows, motherfucker! <laughs> yeah, you you got beat down. What's he got on him? He's got a mushroom, common mushroom. You can use those to make dried mushroom bars, but you need four. What's on the corpse? It looks like a uh, astral potion. Mana which potion. Uh, something that increases your impact, so that's knockdown damage. Needle tea, which uh, restores bird stamina, star mushroom. That's You use those for making magic restore, uh, like astral potions. And the iron spikes are for uh, booby traps. Uh... Now, it doesn't tell you this, but if you have predator bones, you can also stick those in booby traps. And it makes them into bleed traps. Do you want any of this? What about the iron spikes? Uh, I have some on me. Uh, basically, what you don't take, I'll probably take. So if you're I'll like, I don't want that, I'll probably pick it up. I'll take it all for now. Yeah. Um, and I'll probably end up giving you the magic items, because I don't see myself doing magic. Because long story I like short, magic most games, but... long story short, I do a lot of farming, so I have like a lot of stuff. So if you feel like, oh, I just want this for money, don't. Don't worry about it. Okay. Appreciate it. <clears throat> He's a good man. This guy has a tiny aquamarine on him, so we could theoretically unlock that area if you want to see it and laugh, because well, he will get destroyed as far as I know. Then again, that's also worth money. I picked it up because I was thinking that exact same thing. Right, we can here? always get to it later. <laughs> Boom! Surprise, motherfucker! Eat shield! He was running after you, and I was like, no. He's got another mushroom on him. Yes. I like, uh, I like... Okay, around. so this right here, this is another thing that irritates me. This thing right here, don't sell it. It's useful for something later. That's all I know. Okay. What is... What is this? There's an iron vein here if you want me to mine that. It only gives you scrap iron, as far as I know. I have no mining pick. Okay. I carry, the fishing, I carry the fishing instrument on me. Sometimes it has uh, other stuff. Oh, I know all the fishing spots here, I think. Mushroom bars last forever if you can make those. Yo, what's up? Special attack. Wow. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's the fourth one. So, apparently, there's a super attack for, um, your middle mouse button should be your super attack button. Mine is F because my middle mouse button didn't work for the longest time. Yeah. So, if you, um, if you hit your super attack button or whatever, your guy will do something different. Uh, let's see here. Yeah. So, if you do, like, a combo, 
it, it's a slightly different. And it depends on the weapon that you're using. And that's also something that's easy to forget. I think with spears, normally you do swings and stuff, but if you hit the special attack button, you'll do like a stab. I need hydration. The middle mouse button. Oh, it's just like a flurry. Yeah, but if you do like a couple regular swings and you hit the uh, special attack button, it does different stuff. Yeah, let me see here. Uh, Supposedly, uh, that's what it says. That nah, doesn't look like it. It just looks like a good way to burn all my stuff. Oh, my God. My dude. Boom! Boom! <laughs> this is... If I get up behind them and I, I'm allowed to hit them with that, they hit the floor really fast. All right, this main room has an item that you might want. It also has clean water. Oh. So you can drink that for stamina buff. All right, there's a trog up here. Oh, is there now? Yes, yes, there is. You can also do a running attack, as far as I know. Let's... I didn't lock on. Foot! Oh yeah, but uh, what you're talking about... Blood you there we go. could easily do a punching thing. I don't think the damage will be great, but you could run around and sock people. You just have to have nothing in both hands. So I think really? even with a shield, you can't do it. Let's see here. Nope, you can punch with a sh with a shield. <clears throat> it's just like a single punch. It doesn't. Yeah. It's not like being a monk though. I was talking about like monking it. I'll do it because it's funny for now. But if you want a mushroom shield, it's here. If you don't want it, you can give it to someone. Who will take it? Someone in Sierzo. I don't know who. I will, uh, I'll put it in the pocket. I can't remember if it's, a, if it's a lady sitting nearby, but long story short, that giant heart garnet that you got, it has some use later on, I think. And there's only one in the game. There's no way to tell if there's only one in the game, but I believe there's only one of those. Oh, and it's in my inventory. Yes. Right on. Mine, so gonna... I don't know what happened to it. I think um, when I was playing Culp at the time, someone took it and then used it because I didn't I didn't think it was a one of a kind and they also didn't know. So we can't get that back. So you got to be careful with this game. Where'd you go? There you go. I'm following you. Yeah, I don't plan to sell anything unless like I know it's not really worth much. Like that yeah. Aquamarine, I didn't plan on selling it. I just plan on keeping it. Unless you get a bunch of duplicates, I advise yeah. not selling things. Uh, blue sand that you've been finding, you can use that to make armor, but you got to talk to Loud Hammer about it. And it's expensive. I don't know how good it is. There's supposed to be someone Ooh. meandering around. We haven't seen them yet. There's two water skins in here and some oil. I'm gonna take it. Just let me know if you need it. All right. And another and a looter mask, but I don't really want to sell the looter mask, so I'm not gonna carry it. I have. You can I also break water. it down into cloth if you want. Ooh, you'll have to tell me how to do that. Uh, manual crafting. Click it, then click the mask, and then uh, craft. I hear you fighting something. <laughs> Whoa. Thanos snap. Pow. What are what? you snapping? I'm trying to ignite them with tiny amounts of fire. <clears throat> Kick. Get him. Stop his block, just like Dark Souls. That has burnt a lot of stamina. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was just sitting there kicking and punching him. Because it was funny. No other said... reason than it was just funny. Alright. Let's see here. Ooh! Alright, you see these? No. What are we looking at? This red crystals? Purple no. crystals? Yeah. Yeah, these are mana stones. These specific ones that have the glowing thing on the side, you can mine them. You get mana stones out of them and something else sometimes. Hackmanite. All right. I'm giving this to you because they're worth a lot. I should have brought my mining pick. My bad. 
Thank you. Hackmanite sells for 50 a pop. That's a new pistol. It can be used to make things. Um, and I, I think uh, one of the blacksmiths can make special armor sets out of them, like the blue sand. You can't uh, make a blue sand armor set yourself. You have to have like a specialist make it. And the Hackmanite is like that, but for a different town, I think. Right on. Okay. All I know is worth I'll... a buttload, and I wanted to see if it was only used for one thing or not. And it's used for a lot. What's in there? Uh, a another lantern. hatchet, a linen cloth, and an old lantern. I'm gonna take the old lantern because All I right. have plans for it. I wish I could see how much something was worth. Oh uh, yeah, I guess. I, guess I feel like the um, there is, there's no ability to do this, which is very disappointing. But uh, let's see here. I feel like one of the classes should have an ability. Oh, God. To use what a is he map. doing? Oh, he saw you. This will be slightly harder. He's a magic trog. We're gonna apply the uh, the venom rag. Oh god. Get Those poison. Confusion. Fuck. <laughs> pow! Pow! Power hit! <laughs> he has a mana stone and a magic troglodyte staff. You know the good and thing about that staff? What is that? Equip it. See what happens. I'm imbued with poison for right now. I assume it makes light because you turned off yours. Yeah, it'll make light. It's All actually right. fairly bright light, too. By the way, if you're a mage, all you have to do is eat fish to get your mana back. Yeah, I make a ton of fish. I you can also turn fish into rations, which makes money. Again, I've been doing a lot of farming, so a lot of my knowledge is revolving around money and what things are worth. Oh, no, you're good. Because there's a lot of items in here, and I'm a dirty hoarder. Dirty. But I make sure that I try and use equipment that's not too out of your level. The weird thing is... Um... Considering my current stats and lack of really good magic, most of the stuff that I use won't be too powerful. In fact, I'll be at a disadvantage. Like, if you're wearing similar equipment, you'd be stronger than me. And your equipment is actually close to mine. Let's see here. Eh, scavenger's coat's a bit off, but you can carry more stuff than I can. Can I, can I like, equip this in a different slot? What? This, this staff? No. You could put it on your bar and you can swap between weapons if you want. I wanna see this. Oh, so how much light does this make? A lot. Oh quite a bit. That's how I saw him, because I was like, who the fuck are you? <laughs> I'm magic. I like it, but just because it'll it'll help me at my coronation to Magic Mountain. I believe it lowers the cost of magic too. If you're planning on selling it, this is a um, sneaky. You can break it down into three mana stones, Ooh. and they're worth six each. Normally, that staff sells for six. So if you break it down, you triple its worth, and also the stones are lighter. I think. There's something we're missing, though. Come on. Show me again, Mr. Guide. Ah, uh, damn it! It swapped them. Hold on. Where you want me to scout up ahead at? Pocket. Uh, I'm scouting. Move to bag. Equip. <coughs> I'm trying not to... Ah, it's equipped both lanterns again. There. Now we'll have both of them equipped. Because I don't want to burn uh, fuel from two lanterns. Where'd you go? Oh, you're down here. Hold on. There's iron here. Oh, 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 hello. Hey. Guess what I found. A oh, ruby. There you go. I'm going to need to go get my mining pick. Because apparently I, uh, I forgot that. Well, I, I have it. one, so you don't specifically need to, technically. I want to see what's in this chest. 
Okay. I'm going to interact with it as well. All right. <clears throat> Lightning, ice, wood, money. I have to cough. Ugh, yes, yes, I did break the video to cough because that was gross. Now, I'm kind of disappointed because when I ran in here once, it had a Saint's Claymore in it. Do, 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 do. No, what did it have? I don't remember. <laughs> here you go! Yes, thank you. That is now a hundred silver. You can use these to make potions. I don't have an alchemy kit with me, otherwise I would do that. I can go down that route. I have one at home, but uh, not in this world. Being an alchemist sounds kind of like a lot of fun, so... You can use uh, alchemy to make the advanced versions of those rags. Like, uh, you can get fire varnish or whatever, which um, not only gives you the fire buff, but also lights people on fire. Yeah, or does fire build up? It does steal some things from Dark Souls, like uh, stat build up and whatnot. Because mm -hmm. I think my shield, when I hit people with it, it does uh, poison build up. And my... Uh, you know my... Uh, Mace thing with the stupid uh, what's it called on it? What do we call the it? Flamer? Do we call it? Do we could? Do we call it glowing orange meth? No, I never saw it. You had your serrated teeth, so that was somebody. Oh, <clears throat> somebody no, the sword else. had it too. That's what I used last uh, time. Right. I don't remember it glowing though. It does glow. The shield glows too. Here. Like, look at this. It, the back of it glows. I don't know. There's a lot of things that glow. The uh, Knoll's eyes glow, and so they're bones, I guess, because you use those to make um, various items. Now, as far as I know, we've actually uh, finished this dungeon. And here's the thing. If you Except feel like you didn't get enough items or you're getting screwed over and you're losing like money and stuff, this goes for other people playing the game too, you can wait three days, like three 24-hour sets, not you know wait for uh, the sun to come up three times. <clears throat> so that's uh, 72 hours after you've been in this dungeon, and it will have a uh, reset. Certain items will not respawn, like the giant heart garnet will not. The shield also will not, but I have found more than one iteration of the shield in chests, so it's not a one-time item. So where to now? Do we want to head to town? Do we want to head We want to head to town because carry capacity in this game is very low. Okay. And one thing that you can do is now that you have some money, you can also buy things that you may or may not want. I definitely want a pistol. Just to see if I like it. Uh, near as I figure it, the pistol, it um, it has an action to both fire and reload it, but it doesn't take up two slots. I think it takes up one. Yeah, it's just called fire and reload. My guess is it takes forever to reload because the damage is monstrously high. I think it takes like eight seconds. I have no clue. I've never used it. So to me, it's going to be one of those like, bam, like either an execute or a fucking opener. And uh, then... There are certain enemies that you do want to use it as an opener on. Those things that I call pistol shrimp, which are actually mantis shrimp. And I think the other guy calls it a pistol shrimp, the one that we rescued. Um, long story short, they have a buttload of health. The way I fight them is kind of sad. I'll shield bash them, poison them, and try and bleed them, and then run and hide behind a rock so they can't shoot me. Yeah, I like the because idea. it takes a lot of stamina to deal with them. Stamina, not stamina. Oi! Pow pow! Getting double teamed. Yeah, egg and food. I'll cook that up when we get to the lighthouse. Yeah, I like fish because it does what meat does. Uh, it restores health over time, but it also restores mana. I don't think it lasts as long as meat, though, when it's um, cooked. Like, I think it goes bad quicker. And I, uh, like I said, I'm going to cut out us farting around town because it takes ages. <laughs> no. 